Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and today we're going to look at a video I haven't even watched yet, so it should be interesting. Uh, Kevin Lee's video, who I haven't really watched before, other than like a couple seconds, how to use Wing Chun in MMA, and I'm going to watch it because it's featuring Coach Greg Nelson, who I respect a lot. And I'll tell you about, a little bit about Greg. I have a little bit of background in Wing Chun. Here's two funny videos. Look up Dan the Wolfman, Master Wong. You'll find my F Master Wong. Learn Wing Chun. Uh, Wing Chun's actually effective technique. Street Fight and MMA from Pro Fighter. And Master Wong copied my video. He had big, big problem. So for a couple funny videos and some, you know, what is actually useful from Wing Chun, which isn't always useful because it's the easiest range of combat to crash through because clinches happen naturally in all combat sports boxers aren't supposed to and they do so anyway let's get on to this a bit about greg nelson very knowledgeable guy first became aware of him back in like somewhere between the year 2000 2002 i got a copy i, I know in 2002 i had a copy of his uh, one of his muay thai clinch tapes and he was well ahead of other people's knowledge at that time he started in June Fon, Bruce Lee style, June Fon, JKD, Kyle Lee, expanded on to everything, Minnesota Martial Arts Academy, been the coach to Sean Shirk, which no one remembers, great ground and pound wrestler, uh, Sean Shirk, and uh, UFC champion Dave Manet, and uh, worked with Brock Lesnar a little bit, and worked with Rose Namuse, as I have a video of him doing uh, Hubbub, I think, the Kali Sinawali, or maybe it's Hubbub, with uh, Rose Nami Yunus, uh, and congrats to my friend Carla for her perseverance in winning this last fight. I actually think Rose didn't pull the trigger in this fight because she's been too, doing too many combatives, knife fighting, getting away at distance, handgun techniques, believe it or not, because you think if the other person is not killing you, you win, which is more the self-defense mindset with a weapon. But anyway, I digress. I kind of wonder, it's more like if, you, if the other person is not hurting you, you think you're winning which you have to be if the other person has a knife. So uh, to an you know, empty hand uh, kind of thing. So you have to have a killer mindset. Anyway, let's get into Coach Greg Nelson. Unlike all the fake YouTubers out there that all say everyone's so good when almost all of them are absolutely horrible, there's people out there that are very well-rounded in multiple martial arts. Not many, but you got uh, Greg Nelson, Eric Paulson, and maybe even myself. So let's see what this is like. Hey guys, it's Kevin Lee here today. I have the honor to invite Art and Greg Nelson to show us some great techniques. Don't know anything about Kevin Lee, if he's good or not, what his right. background is. So I don't believe in a lot of children. Blending style. Man, that's what but I made videos on JKD in the past. Look at my recent uh, Judge Hand JKD video that's going to air. And then, you know, how to use JKD stuff in the past. Certainly, I was making films on how to use the straight blast. I was the first to do it in MMA and how to just use it to get the clinch. That's some jiu-jitsu guys should use when they fight much better strikers and stuff like that. What we do. So, as we're here, I got my basic motion. So, I'm doing my jab, doing my jab, hit, cross. Watch what I do. Look forward, hit, boom. So after his cross, he jumped an angle and then did like a double jet sow here, and it looks like he's going to set up a double. Look at how his legs are wound up. Which I did for my right from here. salute. So you can also do it off the jab and the whole man's stance. You can you do the same thing. Isn't that, that, that interesting? So I'm so not only hitting, I'm doing my boxing, one, two, three. I hit my footwork, and as I hit my footwork, I'm blocking his hands out. Now... Moving his body to the side, that now makes him more vulnerable. Doing a little those. shuffle step, tripping him right over that leg, coming right into a potential foot lock. Oh, up. potential foot lock, man. He's showing that Shudo Nakamura, Eric Paulson, back in the 90s, a couple times when I trained with Eric Paulson and Guru Dan and Asano back in the late 90s myself, showing that Nakamura Shudo style. Uh, of course, you know, that's not going to work on anybody good, and you got to step on their knee and all that. But anyway, blending the styles. I want, or round and pound. It's up to you. So, again, real fast, once you come in here, I'm just hitting, pop, pop, pop. I come in, shit. Boom. Now it looks good. He does it faster. One, two, three. Shift uh, stance out here to the angle. Double jet style way to the side to the blast double. And uh, to, you know, a pass or to a hit. Oh, there's a pass right Too there bad. to a hammer fist. Brock Lesnar's hammer fist style. Look at Dan Wolfman's top crucifix position stuff and crucifix neck cranks. 
He's mine. Oh, he's mine. Frank did crazy on this. Oh, nice. Did I get? Okay. Yeah. Mm. Right, now you can do whatever you want. So it could be the yeah. hit on Frank right here. We got just got arm drag. Oh. Oh, is that a head yeah, and so arm spin? The keto guys, nice. what is that? Katanagi, or as I used to call it, head and arm spin. Uh, of course, he's doing it more in the Silat FMA style, but if so many styles have it, his stomach has it, it's pretty useful. It's in my top three keto techniques you should learn. And you see me doing it all kinds of times. So that's very interesting. Yeah. Let's see that again. Mm. He goes to hit. Right, now you can do it Oh, and then he gets arm drag. We he under hook, boom, ball. shoves a head down, head arm spin, and a neck wrist lock. Yeah, so having fun with it. How do you do your neck wrist lock? Greg's starting to have fun. Wing Chun, what's, your, what's your methods of playing Wing Chun into like your, your grappling games or like your striking games? I think of like more or less using just like the principles of, of trapping, pressure and release, mm -hmm. you know, using energy. And for me, a lot of the times, especially if we're, we're here, you look at all the different places where we might create a reference point, and mm -hmm. the biggest one is off the rear hand, mm -hmm. you know, because people parry, or I can force a person to over parry. Boom, now I gotta, here, now look at, at this point, this is this trapping from here. Boom, now I come across, now I got a totally different angle. Boom, boom, boom. So you're just looking for those little, little. So you see, I cut the angle there, which is a little second of sensitivity. I have very good sensitivity, and most people and all these other martial artists, they don't have the sensitivity. And that's why I've always said for years, a little Wing Chun, a little Aikido, a little Kali, FMA, you know, just, I don't think all those styles are the best empty hand by themselves, but you can add a little bit of that and find stuff very interesting. Little times where we find any kind of reference point. Anytime I start hitting you and you cover up really tight, pop, pop, pop. Nice. Now we got that reference point. Now we just finish up how we want. And it could be as easy as I'm flicking, 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 flicking. Coming around with my, my, my hook. So there's you know, you're hitting, hitting, hitting. Little jiao sao, little hung sao with your hook coming across. Where I really find it happens more is against the cage. All right, cage time. Now when stuff gets real, when it's more likely to happen. Because they can't go anywhere. So now, as I'm here, we crash in there. I'm trying to grab, he's trying to keep me back. Right now, there's my traps coming in position. He brings his hands up, does whatever. Yeah, he's gonna do, but he can't go anywhere. So now, I can be inside. Boom, there's nice. my shots. So. Oh. Coming into different. Do my neck chunk breaker Filipino wrestling. Traps, because, Nowhere to go, so all the traps work, right? Another time it might be crashing in line with more like this, right? So now when I'm here, I know he's gonna be trying to push my arms or do something, right? So now at this point, he's getting our little... Now look at that nice neck frame, and he had the sensitivity, so there's no slide by or duck under on that side, as, as Kevin here is trying to push up or pox out that elbow. Uppercut, like come in like this. Shoulder lever right? take down. Who knows what he's going to do? He's going to try to fight, fight out of it, right? Mm -hmm. So he does what he's going to do. So now I'm coming inside. That now you can right do like something, that, right? So I'm always using this. There's our reference Shoulder points now. So boom. See the chop to the neck followed by the left elbow. Very nice. Really mm -hmm. fast stuff. Don't... So is this stuff easy to do? No. Can I do some of this stuff? Can Eric Paulson do some of this stuff? Can Greg Nelson do some of this stuff? Maybe someday can Rose Nami use this? Do some of the stuff people that have trained a long, long, long time, dedicated, that have sensitivity. Do most of the chunners out there, can they fight their way out of a paper bag? Absolutely not. Get there in the comments. Leave me if you want, because I know what's up. People are thinking it's all got to be the same. I could be doing the same thing right from here. FMA just became kind of a little hubbub, more like action. So it's interesting if it's this versus this. And it all just blends together when you've trained for a lifetime like me and uh, Mr. Nelson have. You're crashing. Nice. Because oh, all martial arts are the same. Stop doing the style over style BS, maybe. Comes in really fast. And whether he blocks or not, because over the top. Same thing if I'm on the other side. He's coming in. Like... Okay, boom. And that's what I, uh, that's actually awesome that, to see this because that is my, 
a knife defense if someone's just coming up on you and their hands hidden behind their leg and you think they're coming with that intention, they got the killer looking on their eyes and they're gripping really hard, a knife behind the leg, there's no reason to wait. Go out the back door. I teach that to basically pox out that uh, behind the tricep, behind the elbow, and kind of just sow his thing, chop, axe hand, but a combination more in to the nerve cluster on the neck and running out. Mostly you're using that Kali triangular footwork and getting out. Of course, it's supposed to be Wing Chun, but here's overlap. That's it. Now I got an angle. Get out. So and it's always that press. just as an escape to and get out the corner. So let's watch out one more time. Nice. Boom. That's it. Now I got an angle. Now usually at my right, see he scooted his hips around. In fact, so I it's think always, it's more efficient. I think if I'm on the other side, he's coming in. Like, it's more efficient right there had he done this, and as the left arm went out, it's more efficient had he actually stepped the right foot to the top of the triangle, and he's already on the escape route. Even here against the cage for like an MMA or a self-defense concept, but especially against a knife, you're just running out of there, out of the vector, out of the hole. And you know, as this guy's trying to stab you around here, you're out of there. So watch my uh, knife um, defense concepts. Nice. That's it, now I got an angle. Get out. So it's always the pressure. The other thing too is if I'm here, got my position, he's driving me in. Super tough. Watch my butt. Oh. <laughs> I use the, the wall to create energy. Now that's interesting. He makes spring energy with his butt. This is something I film. I find that very interesting because these are crazy high level concepts. Uh, I made a video in Egypt many years ago showing crazy uh, cage guillotine defense. And everyone gets stacked, standing up, pushed into the against the cage. Alistair Overeem was just standing, guillotining a bunch of dudes when he was a uh, Uberim and, and things like that. And I was like, well, just push your butt out, make spinal structure. So that's interesting that he did that. Instead of me trying to push off the wall like this, it doesn't work. Wow. Yeah, so it has a lot of energy. Even if I just want to create enough space, he's pushing. <clears throat> Wait, Greg Nelson, is that structure? Is that Sistema? No, this is supposed to be Wing Chun. Or is it Bakwa? Or is it Tai Chi? I don't know. It's martial arts. As far as I know, there's only kind of like one biophysiology, right? Yeah, biomechanics, biomechanics. Does so energy push, pressure release, all those same elements that happen in Wing Chun, you're just finding different ways to apply it. Mm. You know, the same principles are happening in wrestling all over the place. Principles. Yes, sir. Interesting over here. I wonder if he mentions my favorite wrestling coach, John Smith, in a minute, who was never a big, muscular, American-style wrestler. It was all about structure, biomechanics, spine up, head lift, turning the corner. It was all about a spinal structure, biomechanics, really. You know, because how many times? What is this position? To me, this is normal wrestling. Sure. You just do it all the time. Right? So the other thing I do is when they come in, I always hang my hand like this. What is this? Like a fuxao. Fuxao, right? So my- Fuxao you. The legs right there, it's open. You can, I'm monitoring this hand. Master, Master Wong has been putting some likes on some of my comments from years ago lately. And he responded to me. I think Master Wong wants to hang out, drink some beer and dim sum with Dan the Wolfman. But very easy for you to drop that hand and get- Oh. Now I'm on the inside. Now I got your legs. Dude, that one since high school. I didn't know what one was. To pop down and go to that single leg. <laughs> My guys are grabbing that guy. Go. Wow. Clears the path. So it's just like a setup all the time, just using the, the hand. So it's the same thing, mm. but in wrestling, you don't say. Which is interesting, don't you see Dan the Wolfman in a lot of my videos? I'm kind of even doing air chi sao, and then boom, I'm doing a keto wrist locks to people, huh? Just from a, a matrix, because well, my elbows are in, I'm protecting my center, and you have to get inside control or get to my center, get to my hips to take me down. If I'm controlling the center line with air chi sao, interesting. Man, you got some good sensitivity. Because I'll be like, all right, we're not wrestling with this guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's just, you find those principles all over the place. Just pressure release. So you principles and concepts, people. Doesn't matter which style. Find them, use them, adapt. What is yours? So your game's more like sticking with a structure. Yeah. And then from there, you kind of feel what the guy's doing and then recounter their technical balance. Yeah. 
And I've seen that like, a lot of stuff you do is like off balance like that before you go into execution. Yes. That's awesome. Kazushi. Kazushi, yes sir. Yeah. Same thing if I'm down here in the guard, right? I'm trying to concept of Kazushi off balancing momentum your opponent. And uh, if I'm grabbing your hands, all right, or doing whatever. Oh, nice. Oh. What was that? No, what was that? <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Nice. Now I got your gi, cross trap, mm, boom, or cross choke, trap. whatever. So I'm constantly trying to get to your collar, but you're just trying to stop me. Nice. Trapping That's pretty much straightforward. No nonsense. Yeah. You know, so I do it all the time. Bottom Box loose out, like this, right? Nice. Now I got the hand. I now the other hand goes up, like right? Whatever. So now I'm coming uh, on the inside. Now you're trying to come over over here. So. Oh, nice. So constantly doing it. I do that all the time in, in jujitsu. That's quick. Because now it's like, yeah, I'm trying to get you. Which I also do a lot when I'm on top. You can see videos of me doing trapping in the guard, trapping and blasting with elbows and things. Wow. So you find it. Same. This, once again, works because you can't go anywhere. I can't go anywhere. Mm. So I can't go anywhere, so your traps will work. So we're basically just kind of monitor each other yeah. sort of see what you're doing. Yeah, so... It's the same thing. You're trying to get to my head or whatever. Oh, wow. Very cheese out. Yeah, it's 100%. That's crazy. You see where oh. Greg's left arm was? So he controlled the center where even Kevin Lee, uh, I don't know, is supposed to be a good Wing Chun guy, can't get through his center line, his center line, his center line. They're basically equal here, right? But if you looked at... Greg's left hand there, it even would have stopped the rolling elbow because he had the sensitivity here. So the center is blocked. And then even if it was a rolling elbow, as MMA guys do, and Tito Ortiz, who I used to be with on Team Punishment, you, you have the sensitivity to feel that coming and block that too. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So that I feel your body and it takes your body from the right So it's the same, same thing all the time. So you're game is very off-balancing, kind of take away their ability to kind of frame against you or c control your body, yep. then you kind of slowly take away the ability to move. A little bit of time and I'm waiting for their, to, they're basically just giving me the energy. Yes, as sir. soon as they give me the energy, I take it. Yes sir, so that was awesome. There's a lot of tips there. Yeah. Even because I can see that you apply the striking. If they give you energy, take it. So if you're in position, 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 if you're in position, if you're in good structure, if you're in good balance and not giving up Kazushi is a lot of, newbie fighters and martial artists do, they're not giving up Kazushi, you're not giving away balance, you're not giving away your energy, you can let the other guy make the mistake and take his energy, whether that's a jujitsu sweep or whatever style you want to call it. Grappling, takedowns, even today doing the seminar, that get a lot of takedowns, a lot of off balance. This is old school, this is like Sean Shirt. He didn't care if he's in your guard or not. And he didn't know I was teaching him. Trapping, but trapping. Crap, right here, rolling over. He keeps her going, boom, boom, and you start blocking, boom, boom. So he'd pull, Lops hit, up. pull, mm, 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 uh -huh. and just run right up the arms. Wow. So he would hammer fist. So hammer fist to get the guy to cover up, and then he crosses his, you know, basically, and then boom, you cross his center line, boom, and boom, and boom, with the lopsided pulling arm, and then you can go into rolling elbows. He knows you're gonna give him an arm. Hammer trap, and then he'd go walk. Trapping on the ground. And now the is first thing he does is up. I've said it for many years. Trapping on the ground is easier than trapping standing up. You're already in close CQB clinch contact. You're just vertical. Okay. Elbows here. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Now and, oh, and he's trapped over the top of the elbow here. So look at that. So now he got him crossed in this uh, Jujinagi position. I was here. Uh, now he was here. Wow. She just climbs up. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of pressure. Yes. And so that first hit on the solo plexus, yeah. I felt it. And uh, your head knocks the wind out of you. Knocked the wind out. That was awesome. That's lapso, lapso. Wow. So do you see the difference between a truly knowledgeable master and all the fake YouTubers that I've called out, and even like someone that's even good, they'll they'll hop and s support and say those guys are good when they're really not good just because they have a subscriber base. That's not good. This is really knowledge. Well, you have to hold back because you blow people's mind. The way I coach, or Greg, maybe to an extent, but definitely people. I keep getting comments like like oh, you coach coaching style like Eric Paulson. Well, thank you very much. You know, 
Um, he was kind of my senior as I was coming up, as I was just starting to learn grappling and training shooto and train with pack race fighters and shooto fighters and number one contenders and training official shooto classes and train with Dan Severn and combat wrestling and learning all this cool stuff. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, a share, subscribe. Please always give me a comment and fight the algorithm monster because I've been shadow banned for over a year now. And, uh, you know, it's just nasty uh, what they do. So anyway, guys. Uh, let me know if you like these breakdowns. Take care, everybody, and have a good day, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care, everybody.